So a few hours ago, I got a call from Donald Trump, the former president of the United States. Now, he never signals me that he's going to call. He has my private number. Very few people on the earth do have that. Um, So he calls. And of course, I'm going to take the call. I'm a news guy. So we spoke for about 10 minutes. He's very happy with the town hall. Very happy. Um, I didn't have much to say, because why would I? I just debriefed him about what happened in New Hampshire, how he felt about it, what he's going to do now. Um, Not my job or role to say anything unless he asks me. Okay, so that happened, and I got some pretty good information to share with you. And uh, he's happy, but lots of people are not happy about that town hall, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So I'm going to slow it down because there's a lot here, and I want to be fair as always. The town hall, in my opinion, was a shipwreck. Okay? What is a town hall supposed to be? Two things. It's supposed to give audience members a chance to ask the president or who's ever the subject of the town hall questions and get information. That's number one. Can you remember one thing the audience asked Donald Trump? (laughs) I can't. All right. Number two, the moderator of the town hall is supposed to get as much information out of the subject as humanly possible. That didn't happen. And here's why. When you go in to interview Donald Trump, and I've done it scores of times, as you all know, you know what you are getting. Everybody knows that Trump has his greatest hits. It's like if you go to a concert by the classic rock group, The Turtles, they are going to sing Happy Together. There's nothing you can do. If you're in the arena with the turtles, you're going to hear happy together. Okay? So if Trump is sitting across from you, you're going to hear his greatest hits. What are the greatest hits? The election was rigged 2020. Okay? January 6th was mostly peaceful with good people. Vladimir Putin is smart and the country is going to hell. Those are the four top greatest hits of Donald Trump, and he's going to tell you about them no matter what you do, okay? So, enter the moderator, 31-year-old Caitlin Collins, a CNN host. Ms. Collins is very talented and very smart, but she's 31 years old. When I was 31, I was lucky I wasn't in the penitentiary. She also has no mentors at CNN because there is no one there, no one, who knows how to interview anybody. Okay, they just don't have the skill set. If Caitlin Collins had spent a few hours on the phone with me, that interview that she did or the moderation that she did would have been a thousand times better because I would have told her, her what I'm telling you. You don't go in as a prosecutor. You don't tell a former president that he's lying. You don't challenge the greatest hits because you know he's not going to admit he is wrong. Ever. Okay? Ever. If you read the United States of Trump, his own son told me in his whole life Donald Trump has never admitted being wrong once. Not once. The closest he ever came was my interview with him about John McCain when he disparaged uh, the senator's POW status. That's the closest he came. And he didn't admit he was wrong then, but it was close. Okay. So Caitlin Collins wanted to prove her medal, M-E-T-T-L-E, to CNN viewers who are primarily left-wing. So therefore, she interrupted. She had to interrupt sometimes. I interrupt Trump. I interrupted Obama. 
You have to. Because it'll just go on forever. But she was accusatory. And that put Trump in a, I'm going to steamroll this person mode, rather than having a conversation. Okay, now let me give you some examples of all of this. So the first thing is the election. That should have never come up with Caitlin Collins. Trump is going to bring it up anyway. All right, he was going to bring it up because he always brings it up. And he's not going to back off no matter what you do. Roll the tape. And that was a rigged election, and it's a shame that we had to go through it. It's very bad for our country. All over the world, they looked at it, and uh, they saw exactly what everyone else saw. I've never spoken to a crowd as large as this, and that was because they thought the election was rigged. And they were there proud. They were there with love in their heart. That was an unbelievable, and it was a beautiful day. When you were in office, you said that you respected President Putin, do yeah, you I still do. respect him today? Uh, he made a tremendous mistake. Made it, he made it. He's a smart guy. I think it's a very sad thing for our country. Uh, I think it's a very sad thing, frankly, for the world, because if you look at what's gone to our country, our country has gone to hell. All right, so they're the greatest hits right there. I mean, they just come down for you. So um, there is a way to get at um, the rigged election thing. Caitlin Collins was confrontational. No, that's not true. All right. No, no. Your people filed 60 lawsuits and they lost them all. Uh, actually, the number is 42 if you really want to cut it down. But all right, we'll, we'll just take the 60. The way to ask that question is not to say you're a liar, Donald Trump. OK, is to say, you know, I'm looking at my uh, research here and the Trump organization filed 42 or 60, whatever number you want to use, okay, actions in court, and you lost them all. How do you explain that, Mr. President? And you ask it in that tone, okay? So I did that, um, and I have a soundbite. I don't know if it's cued, but let's, let's try to get it. I did that on January 6th. Okay, so Trump says, it's a beautiful day. They were all there protesting. They, most of them were peaceful. That's his line. Okay, now here's what I said in the history tour in 2021. Go. But now they say, you didn't act fast enough to quell the riot as it was happening. How do you reply to that? Okay, now I didn't get an answer. He did not answer that question. But I couldn't force him to answer it. However, I asked you in a measured tone, how do you reply to people saying you didn't act fast enough to quell the riot? Because he didn't. He waited about two and a half hours. But he's not going to answer the question. You have to ask it. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866 866- 501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.